Watch you guys, I've had a video request from one of my YouTube members. He's asked me to make a video on how to repair Microsoft Office. Now, he said he's had an issue with Microsoft Office. He didn't say what version it was and he didn't say the error. And this is quite common from people that don't actually give you the error code or what is actually happening with it and expect you to understand how to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to go about and fix a lot of the known issues with Microsoft Office uh, Office 2003, 2007 and 2010. Now I've got 2007 and 10 installed on machines but I haven't got 2003 but I'll show you how to access the actual uh, diagnostic program that's built into it. Now it is a very good tool and it does fix a hell of a lot of issues uh, known with Microsoft Office itself. So first off the first place I would be going to is to get the latest updates for it and the latest service pack and this is very important this is not just about security issues this also fixes a lot of known bugs with uh, Office itself now if you have got a version of Office no matter what version it is you want to make sure that you're getting the latest service pack and keeping it up to date and this is going to fix a lot of known issues with that okay maybe third party plugins or issues that you're having or it may be something else and this is going to fix a lot of those issues okay now this is only 117 megabytes in size and this is for uh, to Office 2003. There is also one for 2007 as you can see the downloads are a little bit more heftier at 351 megabytes but again this is going to fix a lot of known issues and security holes that are built into Office itself when they first released it. Now there is 2010 and this is uh, obviously Service Pack 1 it's not Service Pack 3 yet because it's not been around quite as long Okay, so now we've got our uh, 2007 installed on this system here. I'm going to open it up by just clicking on Word here. You can open up Word, Access, anything like that. And we want to come up to the uh, Office button here. Click on this. And then down the bottom, you should see something saying Word uh, Options or Access Options or whatever it is, Excel Options, depending on what one you've opened. Click on this. And then this will open up a box and then once you get this uh, box open up you want to come down to resources here now remember this is uh, 2007 and uh, once you get to here you want to run a diagnostics and repair uh, the pro problems on your Microsoft Office program and this is going to actually fix a lot of known issues okay and it is quite a good tool so don't just think it's going to do a quick scan it will do an in-depth scan and fix a lot of DLL errors and stuff like that all you need to do is click on this and it can take up to 15 minutes okay and it will probably ask for a reboot and once you've done that you're going to click next here and then run, run diagnostics okay and it's going to check for known solutions also memory diagnostics compatibility uh, diagnostics uh, disk diagnostics and also setup diagnostics and it will run all these for you okay and then you can also click on this and it will give you more information what will this do and it will give you a full blow for blow and t let you know what it's actually going to do for you okay okay so now we've got this all covered up this is number that was number 2007 now what about 2000, uh, 2000 and 2003 I did say uh, that version then if I just close this off and you should see an actual image on the screen right now and this will be the same thing that you need to do for 2003 okay there will be a little help tab up the top here and you will need to click on that and then you should see a diagnostic program be like a little green screen with a squiggly line in it and you click on that and it will do the same thing okay okay so let's have a look at 2010 now 2010 is slightly different and uh, you would be running it in a different way okay so you don't access it in the same way so what you need to do here is uh, come down to the run button here at the bottom or the little box down at the bottom here and you can go app with dot cpl and then click on this and this will open up your programs and features and once you see your office suite here 2010 as you can see what you want to do here is click on change click on change and then you should see an option for repair and once you've done repair you click on com uh, continue here and this will do a repair of the actual installation and it will do some 
uh, fixes that it finds that need to be repaired and hopefully this should uh, fix all your issues with Microsoft Office without uninstalling it okay now this does take a considerable amount of time so I'll let this just finish quickly okay so now if you wanted to tell what version of service pack you've got it's pretty straightforward you just come up to file here and come to help and this will actually give you the information that you need and you can see what version you have okay so no good downloading service pack if you don't need to and this will give you all the versions of stuff that you have here okay and uh, that's basically about it really you can run some quick fixes like that now this is not going to fix corrupt files and stuff like that that you may have this is just going to fix the actual uh, office suite itself and if you've got problems with uh, PST files and stuff like that then that's a totally different kettle of fish that you've got there okay so I think that's going to be about it for this video so I hope this answered your question my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future if you've got any questions or any video requests then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you so thanks again guys and thanks for your support bye for now